of the Arctic. There is no room for error in this climate. But it offers a way of life to those who can cope. For centuries, man has lived off this land and its animals, deploying equal toughness and adaptation. But with the arrival of technology, traditional ways are being lost, and so too is the unique connection with this land. This year, one father wants to give his son the chance to choose between old and new. He will train him as a hunter. For Noah and Logan, this may be the last chance to keep their link to the land alive. Noah and Logan's home is on an icy wilderness called Southampton Island in the far north of Canada at the mouth of the Hudson Bay. It is so cold that it is surrounded by a frozen sea of ice for nine months of the year. To us, it looks like a wasteland, a frozen desert. It's dominated by the movement and accumulation of snow and ice throughout the year. Neither land or sea escapes the North Pole's icy grip. So what on earth could live here? Some of the most extreme survivors of the animal kingdom. They have found a living where others cannot, and the same is true for the people of this island, like Noah and his family. People of Southampton Island don't need to rely on the past anymore. They have heated homes, snowmobiles, running water and TV. But these things are expensive and the community is isolated. The population is getting younger too and about half of them are still at school and so not earning a living. Noah is taking his son out of school early today because he wants to take him on a long journey. It's the only way he can offer his son a choice about his future. Logan's grandparents and ancestors were all hunters, but he doesn't need to live off the land. Only 40 years ago, there would be no other way to survive here. No one knows that the old ways are hard, but if Logan has never learned to survive in the wild, how can he choose which way to live his life in the future? On the ice, adults and children used to work together to build their homes, and everyone had a role to play in the success of the family. They all knew what was needed from them. Noah wants to teach some of this self-reliance to Logan. His wife has made the clothes for their journey from the fur of animals Noah has caught. They are perfect for the conditions and cost them nothing. Logan's watertight boots are made from seal skin. Trousers made out of polar bear fur are the warmest option for an Inuit hunter. The soles of Logan's boots are also made from bear fur to raise his feet off the snow and keep them warm. His parka is made from caribou fur, which is a great natural insulator. Their journey is going to be long. When they finally reach their destination, they will be marooned by snow melt. Noah will teach Logan how to hunt for their food, and so they carry little, traveling light with only one sledge. They are staking a lot on Noah's experience. This is a rite of passage, and it's time for the family to say goodbye to Logan, the boy. His mother and sister won't see him again until the summer, three months from now. Noah also says goodbye at his mother's grave. She understood life on the land, and Noah used to hunt especially for her. She liked her meat prepared the old way. He respects his mother very much for the way she brought him up. Gotcha. 
Like most children his age on Southampton Island, Logan has never been away from home this long before. There's no means of communication and no one lives where they're traveling to, so there will be no contact from now on. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for both of them. Logan hopes to see a polar bear and hunt his first seal. And Noah wants his son to feel the connection with the land, but nothing is guaranteed in this icy wilderness. Wildlife used to roam all over the island, but now they must travel farther afield. They will have to travel 800 kilometers across the tundra to the remote far side of their island where Noah's mother used to live. This is their destination. It might look bleak to us, but it's a place where some holes in the frozen ice stay open year round and give animals a chance. It's the place where Noah's mother told him long ago he could become a great hunter. And of course, the polar bear knows this place too. He crosses the bridge of ice to find the cracks where sea mammals come to breathe. Even though adult walruses can weigh 1,700 kilos, the walrus must always be on the lookout. The polar bear is its most dangerous enemy. Only the polar bear has the courage to take on a walrus who is twice his size. When walruses get spooked, they dive deep under the ice and depend on their thick skulls to break through to safety. Their skin can be four centimeters thick and helps them deal with the tough life in the frozen north. In the water, the walrus has the advantage. This is not a good time to hunt. On the ice, the bear is hungry. But he is a patient hunter, and his time will come. Walruses are very protective mothers of their single offspring. The calf can swim from birth, but rarely leaves her side. On the surface, her calf is vulnerable, so she keeps it underwater, even when she nurses it, which she may continue to do for two years. Scientists speculated that walruses nurse their young underwater, but this is the first time this tender relationship has ever been caught on film. Their bond is strong, and it needs to be, as it will take three years for the calf to learn the knowledge needed to ensure its survival. Polar bear's persistence will be rewarded eventually. As long as the walrus keeps to the water, her calf is safe from polar bears. Two days into their three month trip, and a 60 kilometers from home, Noah and Logan arrive at a frozen lake. It's time to stock up on food for the rest of the journey. The ice covering this lake is only 60 centimeters thick, so they are fortunate. It could have been almost two meters. If their luck continues, they will find Arctic char underneath. Inuit hunters have perfected a technique for casting nets under the ice sheet. Hello, 
sure. Yeah. This is Logan's first test. If he doesn't get this right, they will have wasted valuable time and energy.